in October in 2020. It was a wet, dark evening. It was about nine o'clock, so it would get dark. Myself and my son went out to an off farm, away from the main farm. So we had a few cattle still out on the land. They were, they were a bit unhappy, so we decided we'd, we'd give them a bale of hay that was in the shed there at that farm. I decided I'd hop up on the bale, push over the bale off the top so they were stacked three high. The bale started to fall a small bit. I turned on the bale I was standing on. I slipped off it with one foot getting caught on the, the knitting on the bale. Then it just let go and I rolled out onto the floor under where the two bales were actually coming down. I looked up while lying on my back and the top bale was coming straight down on top of me. So there were bales of hay, there were about 450 kilos, we actually weighed them afterwards. And um, yeah, it was coming so fast, I just put my left leg straight up to protect myself and my chest and my head where it was coming. It sheared my hip off at the socket with the pressure, which forced my knee back up into my chest and my foot went out over my head. And my son Stephen came about three minutes afterwards, I roared for help and shouted for help. It was very... Um, Cam, he did done a lot of training with 30 W the area scout group here in Woodford and Abbey. Emergency response, first aid. So he actually knew exactly what to do. So he, he covered me over with jackets first of all. Um, kind of put me into, uh, tried to put me into a recovery position, but I was in a lot of pain. He rang 999. Place where we were has no air code. Stephen actually could get his GPS coordinates from his phone. I had no phone on me, which was a big mistake. If I was there on my own. It was there on my own, I could have been there for the night and no phone. It could have turned out very differently. Then the ambulance came about 35 minutes later. My dad and two brothers and my mum had all arrived. They rang my wife in Ork and she came out as well. The guys tried to get me on a stretcher and they did need a lot of help to get me out of the shed from where I was into the ambulance. After my accident, I suppose I was six weeks before I could actually, or seven actually, before I could drive. But I got exceptional physio from Colm and Loch Ray, his associates. They really put me through the paces and I don't think only for that, I don't think I'd have been able to do it myself because after an accident like that, you'd be, you'd be kind of down on yourself because you can't actually do anything. You're not able to do anything for yourself and only for my wife and kids and family doing See the farm work around the house and everything, that was so important to have them around, like, you know, not everyone has that, that you have a phone or contact. Day to day, I'm probably a lot more safety conscious and I, I think twice before doing something that we'd have generally kind of done routinely. So like my accident, the bales, knocking them off, it's so important, like, think before you act. I had a tractor with a loader I should have used, just taking shortcuts. You live one day at a time, like you don't know when, how, what could cause your life to change. It just makes you kind of enjoy every day that you have and fulfill it to your best if you can.